Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video we're going to be making uh, a pizza with red pepper, red onion, and we're going to be using ketamata uh, petit olives. What are you going to do? I don't know how you say it. Ketamata petit olives. Are you saying it too fast? Cala, cala, mati, calamata, calamata, calamata petit no, olives. No, you got it. That's what I was trying to say, calamata petit olives. Not easy, I'm not Greek. 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 Yeah, well, they say they're Greek. Oh, Greek. Don't they? Greek. Oh, yeah. Greek olives. They aren't Italian olives. Italiano. No, Italiano. Ecosse. No, that's French. <laughs> oh, well. French, sort of. Can no, I'm not French either, either, am I? Oh, God, I'm getting confused. I'm not French. I'm Scottish. But I would like to be Scottish Italian. No, I'd like to be Scottish Italian. That would be the best. Right. So, we've got a tomato one. And now we're going to put cheese on it so we're going to put some mozzarella, red onion, red pepper and then when it comes out of the oven we're going to put a drizzle of wild garlic pesto which we've made so let's get going. Got mozzarella that's going on there and then we'll put on the red onion and the red pepper I could just spread that out a bit more but oh well I'm sure it's fine. Sure this is fine. your home dough, yeah? Yeah, this is the sort of home dough that was in the last video. So, it's, it's quite, it comes out quite nice actually, so. These red peppers are slightly cooked. They aren't mega cooked, but they're just slightly roasted. So, that'll be quite nice. I'm not putting loads on. And then we're just going to put a wee sprinkle of red onions on top as well. These onions definitely smell like onions, don't they? Mm -hmm. You can really smell them. I don't want to put too many. I'm going for the decorative look. So, there we go. That'll do it. Right, so we've got that. And then we're going to put the in the oven. And then we'll come back and we'll put the pesto on it next. So, into the oven it goes. And let's go. Okay, so we didn't want to sort of roast the olives too much. We never forgot to put them on. So, like, uh, we didn't. Of course. We not. just didn't want to roast Your them. <laughs> we just didn't want to roast them too much. That's all it was. So, there we you go. You didn't even need to do that. <laughs> you could have got away with I'm it. Just being honest. Right, so let's just bung that back in for 30 seconds, not 30 seconds, 10 seconds, just to heat the olives up. Won't take long. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Look at that. Lovely. It's like we put the olives on at the start. That's how good it looks. So, next up, we've got a wild garlic pesto. So, that's just going to get a wee stir. Because it's quite nice, this, but... I just I was just going to drizzle over the top, but I don't know where it's going to drizzle because it's pesto. So I guess we'll just blob it. Blob it. <laughs> blob it around. That'll do. That'll do. There we go. That looks nice. So there's our well garlic pesto. Can of something olives, red onion and red pepper on a sort of whole meal base. So yeah, looks tasty. So let's taste it. Okay, this is looking really nice, this pizza actually. I'm looking forward to trying it. The juice has come out of the olives. The pesto, let's get a wee bit of pesto. Get on there. The pesto's on there. One, that was a bit too hot to shove in my mouth all in one go like that. Two, it's absolutely gorgeous. That is really nice. I really like that one. It's got so many flavours. The pepper flavour from pepcom fruit, flavour from the onions, the olives, the pesto. 
that is so flavorful it's absolutely lovely pizza really like that one gorgeous and it looks nice too so you serve that one up to people they'll be like oh that looks nice so yeah it's well tasty so give it a go and check out the book like subscribe leave a comment and we'll see you next time bye